Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. Super pumped because today my iSnipe app is finally available. It's available for all Apple products. Probably have it available for Android products soon as well. So it's in the App Store. You can get it right now. It's called the iSnipe Hockey Shooting Trainer and uh, it's going to help you guys improve your shot. What I'm going to do is give you screenshots of the app and I'm just going to talk you through how it's going to help you improve your game. The first screen is the shot tracker. So we have total shots at the top. Then we have the wrist shot, snap shot, the backhand, and the slap shot. So you can keep track of how many of each different type of shot you've been taking. And then the grand total is counted right at the top. So the goal is to get to 10,000 total. And then you can have goals, individual goals for each different type of shot. Personally, I want to work on my backhand. Uh, it's one shot I've neglected. So I'm going to try to do more backhands than any other type of shot and get to 10,000 total. So you can set individual goals for the week, for the month, or just in general, say you want 10,000 of each different type of shot. Uh, try to set goals that are realistic. So go to the next uh, screen, and this is the video tip screen. So you can see I have how to take each type of shot. So I've got the wrist shot, snap shot, backhand, slap shot, and then I've got three other videos that'll give you sort of uh, variations of the shot. So there's the fundamentals of the wrist shot, and then different ways to take the wrist shot. Fundamentals of the slap shot, and then different ways to take the slap shot. So it's gonna give you game type situations when you're gonna shoot, so it's gonna help you improve a lot, and you can practice those when you're off the ice. So that's a really important screen. Uh, 16 videos in total that you get. And some of them are hosted on YouTube and some of them are built right into the app. The next screen is the training section. So the, there's two different training tools for you. The first one is the buzzer beater. Pretty simple, it's a timer. So you put how many seconds you wanna shoot for, say 20 seconds. It gives you a delay. So it, it counts down and gives you time to set up. And then when it goes, Doo! then you can start shooting. You can see how many times you can take a shot in that amount of time, say 10 seconds. You can see how many targets you can hit in a certain amount of time how many slap shots you can take, how many backhands you can take. So you're working on your quick shots and getting that puck off the, the stick really quickly. And you, you know, you use your own creativity, you try to hit targets in that amount of time, anything. Uh, then we have, the next one is the quick release. So this one is really cool. Um, I call out shots for you. So you can set how many shots you want to take, say 10, and the distance between shots, or the time, sorry, between shots, so say two seconds. Every two seconds, I'm calling out a new location. So you'll hear me yelling out of the app, Top right, top left, shoot left, uh, right side, shoot low, shoot high. And whenever I call it out, you have to try to hit that. So it's training your quick release, it's training your reaction time, and you don't know where you're gonna shoot until you hear it, right? So you have to do it quickly. And then you can adjust how quickly you take shots. So every two seconds, uh, every one and a half seconds, every four seconds if you need more time. So that one's really cool. Uh, the last one is to keep track. So there's a little journal, you can click on that, you can keep track of all your accomplishments and your goals. Uh, or what you want to achieve. So say it takes you three seconds uh, between shots to set up. You want to get uh, better and better, so you can keep track of that. Uh, if you have a radar gun, you can keep track of how hard you shoot. Uh, if you're you know, hitting, say, eight targets in 15 seconds, you can put that in there, and then you know for the next time, okay, this is my time that I have to beat. So it's all right there in the app. There's a good summary of the iSnipe app for you guys. Uh, there's a few other built-in features in the app, so you can share on Facebook, you can share on Twitter, uh, the video training alone is going to be really good for you guys, help you guys improve a lot. And on top of that, you know, you can keep track of all your shots, which is great. And then we have the training tool. So I know you guys are going to love it. It's going to help you improve your shot a lot. One other tip before I leave you guys is to get a bucket full of pucks and know how many pucks are in there. So right here, I have a milk crate. I have exactly 50 hockey pucks in here. So I know if I dump this on my shooting pad, I'm going to take 50 shots when they're all gone. And I'm going to collect them all, put 50 in there. And every time I dump it out, I know I've taken 50 shots. So that's going to help you keep track of your shots. It's going to be a lot easier that way. So even if you only have 10 or 20 or 30, just know exactly how many you are shooting at a time. And then say, because I have 50, if I do four uh, buckets, that's 200 shots. If I do 10 buckets, that's 500 shots. So all you have to do is keep track of the buckets and then do a bit of simple multiplication. Makes it a lot easier than counting one, two, three, four, five. So that's my uh, last final recommendation. So keep track of your shots, try to get to 10,000, and uh, maybe soon I'll do a challenge. We'll see you can get to 10,000 first. Thanks a lot for watching it, the video, and don't forget to pick up the iSnipe app. I've got a link in the video description.